So, we are in Oden, we are at the hotel, and we are going to check out the ancient ruins of Oden. And I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking at these online for a while and they're beautiful ruins and uh, very excited. It's up this mountain right here. Let's check it out. Well, we made it to the ruins and it's beautiful, especially in the sunset. Ah, this place is awesome.
this place is incredible. I mean, look at that. I have completely lost the guys I was with here, but I'm just incredibly interested in this. This is incredible. I mean, they didn't carve the rocks out. They kind of just took the rocks they had and binded them together. And they've lasted, I don't know how long. Um, there's some debate over exactly how old this place is. Uh, but it does go back to an ancient trade route. Um, some might say as far back as a thousand years ago, some might say further, some might say in more recent days. All I know is it's quite incredible. Continuing the tour. Seems to be going down. Old staircase. Oh, wow. It just goes on and on. You can imagine how big this place was. It's almost completely abandoned now. There are people that live here. In fact, a little girl just came out of a you know, one of the places and started asking me how it was in French and um, thanking me for coming here and saying she hopes I have a amazing time and she must have been like seven. I'm telling you, these people have way more intelligence on average. Just all the languages they know and everything than we see in the West. Unfortunately, stereotypes take hold. But you go to these places yourself and you see it's not what you've been told. Let's continue. Oh, that's interesting. I'll go down here. It's impossible to map out this whole place because it's like scribbles. Like the, the streets. There's no order to the way the streets are set out, so it's just all over the place. And you know, most of the people here are in American clothes and all that. No idea where the guys I went up here with are. But it's a maze, so it'll be pretty much impossible to find them. Good thing I know where my hotel is. 
This is just super cool. Some people, they just stay where their family is and they never move for a thousand years. <clears throat> See a lot of people carrying what looks like hay or grass on their back in the old style. I don't know if I should even step on that where it'll knock something over. But look at that, guys. I do have to be mindful of the sun going down so I can find my way back because street lights aren't really a thing here. <laughs> Obviously. Beautiful sunset. up there. That's the exit of the old town. I'm gonna stick with the old town. <laughs> old courtyard. I didn't know you could go into this. Whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I don't know if this is safe, <laughs> but I'm going in. a collapse there so that doesn't make me feel too good about all this so I think I've climbed up this thing enough but nonetheless wow amazing you can see where the rocks fell through here yikes Sorry, uh, my phone was filled completely um, with video, so I ran out of footage to take. Um, but it, it's such an incredible town here, and 
We are here at a motel, or a hotel, I should say, uh, in Waden, and it's pretty awesome, and something you do not see all that much in Mauritania, a toilet. Um, Annam and I are going to go out uh, to where we were in the town and in, in the ruins and try he's gonna try and get some pictures of the stars with his camera so we'll uh, try that out walking through Badan in the night it's something I never thought I would do but now I'm eager to do interesting I just looked at my face in the last video which you can't even see in this video but I just looked at my face in the last video and I'm insanely insanely sunburned yeah so that's that's good. I'm gonna look forward to the peeling. People are gonna look at me like I'm a monster and uh, it's gonna be good times had by all. Yeah, okay, let's I turn on some light. As if we're not gonna be spotted with a gigantic flashlight. <laughs> What, my battery? Yeah, that's too, bright. that's too bright. What about just from your face? The light from your face? Hold on. Just a second. You can't tell, but we're doing some nighttime photography. <laughs> right next to the police station. <laughs> <laughs> there may or may not be a curfew in this town. We're not entirely sure, but we've been told not to walk around at night here. But, I mean, when has government ever stopped us from doing anything? Seriously, let's be real. <laughs> We're in Waden. We don't have that many chances to be in Waden. space was fake. <laughs> it may be. <laughs> this is super cool. It's better than I can see with my own eyes. Yeah. Turn on the light and then we'll do a delay. He's trying a two minute exposure. How long we're gonna have it be? Delay, no, 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 no. No delay, okay. How long, yeah. Okay, how long is it gonna be? Two minutes. Set, okay, and now. There we go. Let's try it out.
right and I'm back. All right, that was cool. So, a uh, successful walk through part of Odan in the middle of the night. Something I never thought I would ever do. And you know what, it's perfectly safe. It's everyone's friendly and some of the most beautiful shots of the stars you'll ever see. Um, you can see basically all the stars, very little minor light pollution, if any. So definitely something I recommend for everyone. If you want to travel somewhere strange, <laughs> Mauritania is a place to go. Just if you don't want a crazy adventure like us that ended in sleeping in potentially disease-ridden hostels at, at a border, you might want to fly in, but I also recommend a lot of these other places that we went through anyway. Dakla, Nwadibu is apparently pretty nice by the water, so anyway, not unsafe, worth going to, recommend to everyone. Just uh, research a bit before you go, that's all. Like what you see here, Wham? Don't forget to check the links below. Go fund me, Patreon. We can't do it without you. Any donation is very much appreciated, especially as we are so heavily demonetized and censored by YouTube. As these guys come in and flag all of our content as hate speech, the shadow banning is getting really bad, guys. Also, check our Bitcoin address right here on the screen or in the description below. We really appreciate it. And of course, check us out at the Red Pill Expo 2019. Of course, the great G. Edward Griffin and so many other incredible speakers will be there our link for that is below as well and we cannot forget mike maloney's goldsilver.com which you can also find in the description one of the greatest market and monetary historians out there we really encourage everyone to check that out but until next time this is josh sigurdsson signing out from world alternative media find the truth be the change I'm sure you have already changed people's minds in your young age because you're involved and I like that. Wow, 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 wow.